Thank you and welcome to our first concert of the season. Uh, it was scheduled for Thursday night, but we had a little storm uh, that postponed it. And uh, actually it's been a couple of uh, tragedies that have happened uh, to us around here and other places in the last couple of weeks. We'll talk about that later. Uh, we're going to open our concert. Our concert, actually, the first concert of the year, I like to play pieces that are brand new, that have been written in the last year. And um, that's what we have tonight for you. The first piece we have is, a, is an unconventional march uh, entitled Regiment of Heroes by Joseph Turin. It was written for the United States Marine Band and was, and was played there in, at the Capitol, on the Capitol steps um, this summer. So this is um, Regiment of Heroes.
We've got a great band this year. I'm tickled to death. We, uh, this actually is the largest uh, band we've had here ever at Pensacola State. So I'm proud of, uh, proud of all these students behind me. Um, we have, um, we're uh, members of the Florida College System Activities Association. And every year they hand out certificates of merit for grades. And we have some members of the FCSAA all academic team in music. I want to hand these out tonight. These are for people that were in the band last year that achieved a grade point average, uh, outstanding grade point average. Um, Jillian Flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly Cunningham. Kayla Dunson, come on up. Jason Heiserman, stand up, Jason. Jeremy Marquardt in the uh, tubas. Cameron Rust in the string bass back there. All those low instruments are very smart back there. James Slade in the tr trumpet section. And Audrey Carper in the flute section. Our next piece we're gonna play for you is um, one that was done by one of my favorite composers, uh, Julie Giroux. Uh, Julie is um, a very prolific composer, band composer. She lives in Mississippi but she was in uh, Hollywood for many, many years, uh, won a couple of uh, Emmy Awards, uh, has written for a bunch of movies and TV shows. And uh, she's taken on the band world, and by storm actually. And this piece that we're gonna play for you is entitled Shine. And it's not the kind of shine you think it is, not like shine your shoes or the moonshine. Well, it might be the moonshine. It is the moonshine. This is about moonshiners. I mean like drinking moonshiners. And uh, she employs, uh, you know, the, the moonshining really came to the fore uh, during Prohibition, didn't it? And uh, so it was some sad times for people that like to imbibe. But uh, of course, uh, what, what always happens is when there's a need, somebody fulfills it. And the moonshiners did. In fact, there was moonshine stills all around my mother's house as she was growing up in Coosa County, Alabama. And I heard tales of these big uh, Cadillacs uh, driving down from Chicago, filling them up in the back of their Cadillacs are sort of doing like this as they were going for some reason. Probably had the moonshine in it. But um, she employs some really cool instruments. Here's one uh, that she employs. Xavier, uh, play it for the audience. What is that? Play it again. Turn around. It's a washboard. I, I have to tell you, I, I've never used a washboard on this stage ever in 30, 31 years of conducting bands. So leave it to Julie Giroux to uh, come up with, with that. This is a really cool piece entitled Shine.
Our next selection is going to be dedicated to all those folks east of us that tonight are not uh, sleeping with any air conditioning, maybe no running water. Um, we survived. Uh, we went through that and with Ivan, you remember that. And uh, I think they're going to have a little bit harder uh, road, road to hoe. Uh, but uh, wherever you can, whenever you can, please contribute um, to the Red Cross or any other charity that will help these folks uh, east of us because um, we know what it was like. So our um, next piece is, a, uh, is, is actually a church hymn. It's called Resignation, but it's used in the hymn, My uh, Shepherd Will Supply My Need. Our Shepherd Will Supply Our Need. And uh, I think this is sort of very appropriate for uh, our uh, concert and for our, for our folks east of us.
a piece by Rosano Galanti. He is a, a composer that uh, lived or uh, grew up in upstate New York. And you know what happens in upstate New York? There's a sort of a river, they have a falls called Niagara, right. My, uh, my, my first wife was from that area, uh, upstate New York, and uh, it was very romantic. She took me there when it was minus 10 degrees. And um, when I, uh, of course, there was ice coming off the falls and I had my jacket on. When we got back to the car, the jacket was covered in ice. I stood it up on the, on the uh, ground before I put it back in the trunk. So, but it, this is a majestic uh, piece, uh, a lot of fun to play. Uh, Rosano uh, was, uh, this was premiered uh, last year at the Association of Concert Bands Convention. So this is The Falls by Rosano Galanti.
As you uh, saw our students come in, they placed a, a flower on that chair over there. Um, that was where William Short was supposed to be tonight. And unfortunately, he took his life uh, two weeks ago. And uh, we are sad for it. We're sad for him. We're sad, definitely sad for his family. Um, it's hard um, to lose someone like that. Uh, they had the double tragedy of losing their daughter uh, about 10, 10 or 12 years ago. So they've had to bury both of their children uh, way too early. And we've used this um, tragic event as a teaching tool for our students that if you have problems, get help. Talk to somebody. Talk to anybody. Uh, we have um, people that our students can talk to here at Pensacola State. We've, we've grieved this week. We grieved last week uh, for, uh, for William. Uh, I've told them, and this is something you've probably heard before, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And whatever it was for William, it could have been solved. And they need to know, students need to know that they have people, we have people that can help them. I mean, even Anthony Bourdain, you know, he had the world by the string, and he could have gotten help. So, um, William was uh, a wonderful French horn player. He, he um, was a dual enrolled student last year from Milton High School and took music theory and he was a, a great little composer. I mean, he's written a lot of stuff. In fact, he was doing a um, video game using several of our people in the band as, their, as the, the actors, right? And um, so he was working on that. And as I was cleaning out his locker today, I, I saw uh, conversations with those characters that, that are in here. And uh, it's very interesting, very interesting. But um, we're going to play a little piece for you that um, uh, over the intercom that William wrote. And this is how quirky he was. The, the title of this piece is Overheated Vacuum Cleaner Needs Repair. <laughs> That's William. Let's see if we can play it. Let's do it. That's just a little part of it. And not bad for an 18-year-old, is it? It's amazing. Yeah, give it, give me a moment.
And in William's memory, we're going to play another piece on their concert. This, again, is by Julie Drew. It was written for uh, someone that uh, died tragically uh, several years ago. And uh, I think it epitomizes uh, William. This is entitled One Life Beautiful.
We handed that out Thursday. We handed that out Thursday. It's amazing what can happen when you're into it, and these kids were into it. Thank you so much. We'll take a little short break, and then we'll bring back the jazz band. And also, I want to tell, I want to introduce uh, Marianne Carlton, who is filling in tonight. Marianne was uh, a Williams horn teacher. I forgot to announce that. So, thank y'all. Thank you, Marianne. See you in a little while.